So a 90 Day Fiance slash 90 Day Diaries, and I call it 90 Day Fiance slash 90 Day Diaries because 90 Day Fiance is where I first saw Molly, right? So if you guys remember Molly, uh, Molly was dating Luis, okay? Molly went on a girl's trip to the Dominican Republic, met Luis who was working at the resort that she was staying at a few videos back. I, I told you that's that, that's how a lot of these women meet these guys is, you know, they're staying at a resort and these guys are like playing on the tourists and, you know, they get caught up in it and whatever. Anyways, I happen to like Molly. I think she's one of the few people on this whole series that has any balls. Anyway, um, she falls for Luis, brings him to the U.S., and they get, they actually get married. And uh, as soon as he gets to the U.S., he turns into a completely different person, like night and day different. So he's, you know, being crappy to her kids. He's just like, it was really, really obvious that his goal was to get her to kick him out, right? And so there's a piece of me that feels like, you know what, Molly? Yeah, Luis was a mistake, but I feel like Luis was the hell you had to go through to find Kelly, okay? Now, Kelly, she met Kelly on, I think she met Kelly on Instagram. I think he slid into her DMs. Anyway, Kelly and Molly are now a couple. Kelly is uh, a cop and he's from New York, right? I happen to like them together, right? He seems like a straight shooter, nice guy, kind of quiet, doesn't like, you know, doesn't seem like the type who likes to get into the drama, but um, they seem to be doing well. Their only issue is that Kelly is, I think, 35 or 36 and wants a family of his own, and Molly is in her 40s and already has a family, right? So I don't know. I mean, she says she doesn't want more kids. I get that. Fair. But he wants kids so i don't know how they're gonna reconcile that because i feel like if you like for a couple to be together you when it comes to ha having a family or not you gotta be on the same page right because i don't know he wants his own children right not he doesn't want to uh, well he says he's maybe open to adopting but he would rather have his own kids i mean and i mean that's fair, right? So anyways, at the beginning of this episode, 90 Day Diaries, Molly is at home in Georgia and she's looking, she's house hunting because apparently Kelly is going to leave New York, move to Georgia to live with Molly and her kids, okay? And she's looking for a house for them. Like she's just kind of getting started, feeling out the market, seeing what, you know, what's out there. So she's in this big house and she's looking around and she FaceTimes him and, you know, they talk about you know, their, their budget and whatever. And, you know, she's all dolled up. She's like in full makeup. Molly doesn't need all that makeup. Anyways, I don't know. I, I just feel like they put her in too much makeup. They try to glam her up too much and she doesn't need it. Like she looks great without it. So anyway, or minimal makeup, right? I don't know. It just, it, it just felt off to me, but Hey, if she feels good in that, she feels good in that. Cool. So yeah, not much really happens with them. They just talk about, you know, what their budget is and, um, you know, the fact that she wants to live in a house with him that she's not lived in with another man before, which I guess also is fair. Um, yeah, but they seem to be getting along well. There's no real drama between Molly and Kelly, with the exception of the fact that I'm kind of interested in seeing how they will reconcile this whole I want a family, I don't want a family thing, right? Like, yeah, I feel like that's gonna be a bone of contention between them at some point in the future, but I hope not, because I really like these two together. That's all that's new with Molly and Kelly and 90 Day Diaries. My name is Debbie, this is Sheality TV. I will see you next time. Peace.